Hey guys, it's Jordan Jonas Sparks, your spicy, poised, and artistic, radical kryptonite soul. Get it? That's my last name in an acronym. So, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, and I'm also going to be doing a tag while I do that get ready with me. So, I pulled up a tag, and I don't even know how old it is, but it's from Nikki Tutorial's website, and it is called Tag. I don't know, but it says the questions. So there's 14 questions and uh, I'm going to answer them while I do this beat. And to start off, of course, I jack my hair to Jesus. So the first question says, how many hours a week do you spend filming slash editing? Ew, there's like a clump on here. I would say that he, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> I would say that that hugely varies depending on the week and whether I'm filming like seven videos or whether I'm just filming one and whether I'm working a ton or whatnot. But I would say filming and edi editing anywhere from like 10 to 40 hours maybe a week. But yeah, it definitely depends on what I'm filming and what kind of videos I'm producing because if I'm doing like hardcore edits, a video could take me all week to edit. Whereas if I'm not doing edi any edits and it's just like a vlog and I'm popping it right up or just like sitting on my floor talking and I'm popping it right up onto YouTube without any edits, then it's not going to take very long. So that's why there's like a huge range. But if I was doing like four edited makeup videos in a week, then that would probably take me like 40 hours of filming and editing for sure. Where there's something in my eyes literally at all times, but... Alright, so the second question says, are you a spender or a saver? And honestly, I have never had any money to save. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know, I've literally been poor my entire life, so I don't know if I'm a spender or a saver. I guess I'm, to give you a fair answer, I'd probably say that I'm super cheap, but I would spend my money if I had it. So I'd sp probably spend it frivol frivolously on a bunch of small things. Okay, the third question says, when is it easiest for you to film? And I would say it's probably easiest for me to film at night lately just because my roommate's not home and I can talk about whatever the heck I want. But it's also easiest to film in the day because of the light, so. I don't know, it's a toss up. I would have to say in the daytime just because I don't have studio lights, so it's best to film in the daytime. Number four says, what makes talking in front of the camera comfortable for you? And I would say talking in front of the camera isn't always comfortable because sometimes I'm literally having a panic attack right before I film or while I'm talking. Um, but I would say that I gravitated towards YouTube because I have always been super nervous in front of a live audience or a live crowd and I used to perform live, but I could never get over my anxiety and my stage fright. So being on YouTube where I know that I can safely talk about anything that I want within the comfort of my own home before I post it online, I guess that makes it more comfortable to talk in front of a camera, I guess. I swear that under eye concealer brings me to life, baby. Number five says, what's your worst makeup slash hair habit? Hmm. Uh, 
My worst makeup or hair habit. I don't know if this would be called a habit, but I don't trust anybody when it comes to my hair, so I just always cut it myself. And then I end up not being able to take risks when it comes to style, so I don't know if it's a bad habit, but basically just not changing up my style in terms of a haircut because I'm not trusting anybody to do it. says one quote that you wish the world would live by. Of course I've got to say be weird, be wild, stay sparkly. I guess I also have a habit of like rushing through with my eyeshadow. That's another bad habit. I'm impatient so being impatient Number seven says, how long do you spend getting ready every day? That also greatly ranges because when I'm getting ready for work, sometimes I just wake up and go in literally five minutes. And sometimes when I'm filming a makeup tutorial, I take up to like two hours to get ready. So mm, anywhere from five minutes to two hours. My eyes are two totally different shapes when it comes to the hooding, so I have to actually do the color different in order for it to show on this eyeball. <laughs> kind of annoying, but like, you know, pain is beauty. Oh my god, my hands are literally... I feel like Antonio Garza. Now I'm gonna go in with like a black color, just to make this like super intense. Oh wow, I don't think I've ever used the black in here. Uh, but number seven says, how long do you, oh, I already answered number seven, oops. Number eight says, your favorite video on YouTube. Ooh. I watch literally like thousands of YouTube videos, like hundreds a week. I don't know if I could pick one favorite, but way back in the day, I loved the, we are going to take over the world, but I am tired, so take a nap, then file the missiles. And um, there used to be these videos that were like about making muffins and it was like, what kind of muffin would you like for breakfast, Donnie? I loved those videos. Or like, let's get some shoes. With Kelly. If you guys remember those videos, those are like super old though. That was like the beginning of YouTube. <laughs> Eight, your favorite video and number nine says a youtuber that you watch who deserves more views slash subscribers than they have hmm ooh definitely Tweely I'll link her channel below she's a beauty guru I guess she used to work at Mac cosmetics and she lives in the UK and she's literally hilarious and she's so much fun and she definitely deserves way more views I'm gonna try this new like NYX jumbo eye pencil that I bought today in purple to go with this purple look that we've got going on. It's like huge, but I'm gonna try doing my waterline with it on the top. Is that called again? Tight lining, I guess? Alright, so number 10 says one thing that you're excited about in the upcoming year and I am basically just excited to see where my YouTube channel goes and what happens with this channel and maybe potentially taking like a trip to Toronto would be awesome but 
I don't have anything major planned that I'm excited for. So I would have to say, just seeing what happens with my YouTube channel. I'm gonna go in with this with my finger. I hope that I don't ruin everything. Oh, this color is super pretty. Number 11 says your most awkward filming moment. And oh my god, so this was during a vlog and is the most awkward thing ever. So I was downtown Toronto with my friend Samantha, whose nickname is also Sparky, and we were vlogging. And this was like when my channel was brand new. And I remember walking downtown, literally it's in the middle of the summer, it's so busy downtown, and I thought that I farted. And I was like, oh, it's just a fart. And then we go in to Union Station, which is like this train station in Toronto, if you've never been. And I go into the bathroom, and as I'm turning around, leaving the bathroom, I realize that there is literally a giant poop stain on my white shorts, and that not only did I fart, but I sharted myself. So I literally crapped my pants while we were vlogging. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And I even told the vlog, I just wrapped my shirt like this around my waist, covered up my poo stain, and went along with my day. So, number 12 says, how long does it take you to prep for a video? In a typical video, I just have to get ready to film, which takes like five seconds, or sometimes I literally just wear my pajamas or no clothes at all, or don't get ready at all. So sometimes it takes like five seconds, I would say. And then some other times, if I'm filming on my normal camera and I have to use a microphone and stuff, then it might take me like five minutes to set up. So not very long at all. Number 13 says, are you wearing pants slash jeans skirt right now? Or are you actually wearing pajama bottoms? And I feel like, oh, ew, oh my god, you guys didn't even tell me that my boob was showing. Um, I'm definitely wearing pajama pants. And number 14 says, what are you most proud of in your life? And I would have to say, my YouTube channel and building this community here on YouTube. And um, it is crazy hot here, and so all this makeup is going to sweat off in five seconds anyways, so I'm not going to be powdering my face or doing my eyebrows today because it will literally just melt off in five seconds. Because it's so freaking hot here. But... That is it for this entire tag, and this is the finished look, so I hope you guys liked it. This is with the light off. I'm kind of living for the purple, to be honest. And um, I hope you guys like this tag, and as always, please remember to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, you. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, bye!